text ads um, remain somewhat stable, but shopping is really driving the growth of, of spend. What role does um, Bing shopping um, play for Microsoft? So certainly, and by the way, kudos to Creolytics is really good software. I've had lots of um, our clients use it and very happy with it. Shopping, of course, is really important. Again, it's just what our users want to engage with. Images are very, very powerful conversion and engagement tools, as you know. So much research has been done that shows that humans are 80% more likely to engage with content that has relevant imagery to it. So it just makes sense that we are visual creatures and we want to engage with shopping ads because they are show you exactly what you want to buy. So if I can look at it and sort through and choose what I want just by looking at little pictures rather than having to read through multiple blue links, it's going to be a much more uh, engaging format for the user to want to use. So in that sense, we're answering that question by making sure we're building and scaling our shopping ads. And we have got such good, good feedback from our advertisers. They love it. They're like, we want more and more and more. And we're like, we're working on it. We're getting all these additional features and um, add-ons to the enhancements to our ads. So I think they're doing really well with shopping. The, the phenomenon where uh, a, a a particular set of searches on a keyword generate uh, X number of dollars of direct revenue, but Y number of dollars in revenue if you take into consideration the pathway that the searcher has taken through several different actions to get to the site. So if, if you if uh, think about it, if, you, if, if an advertiser or if advertisers in general took into consideration assisted revenue and uh, lifetime value, uh, frequently they would be uh, driving much more volume and much more profit than they think they're driving now. So uh, I almost see an image of uh, the advertiser community as a, as a whole being much, much more conservative, too conservative than they could be and that they will be in the future. Back in 2004, when Google was going to IPO, right, their investors looked at, at Larry Page and Sergey Brin and said, all right, we get that, you know, you guys have search and you're amazing at search. How do you monetize that? And they looked at their investor square and said, we don't know, but at the moment in search, we have someone's complete attention. And if you have someone's absolute undivided attention, you can monetize that moment, right? And that's where search, you can't beat it, right? You cannot beat that moment. What would you say are the um, most exciting Google Shopping innovations which will influence a retailer's business in the next 12 months? Um, I've, been, I've been doing more and more with uh, dynamic remarketing. Um, and so I think, I think some of what is happening there in terms of innovating is not even what we see, but maybe more on Google's side. You know, my, my assumption, and this is from, you know, they keep putting out more and more dynamic type stuff. I mean, they're, they're, they're getting their machine learning stuff all the time on, on the back end. It's becoming smarter, it's becoming better. It's, it's becoming better at finding intent and all that. So I think that things like dynamic product retargeting um, is just gonna continue to get smarter and better um, and and I, I can see us using that more in the future. Um, and, and then I think another part of it is just, you know, there are some advanced strategies and advanced ways to target with, with shopping. And so some of that in this year might be just just implementing those, like just, just doing those well. I, I still talk to a lot of people who run shopping, even people who know advanced um, strategies who, who still aren't necessarily running those. Um, so that might be one area for people to focus on is, like do, do it well, <laughs> you know. The biggest innovation I think in, in Google Shopping Realm itself is our, the innovations we're gonna see in terms of local inventory ads and how to track that. I think that Google is continuing to find ways that we can track offline purchases better. They have store visits, they've gotten better, they have beacons, um, there's different ways to do that. And that, I think that's one of the key things for, for retailers to figure out now um, and to be able to build those feeds out um, to have that local inventory information. Uh, the near me searches, the, the searches that are so vocal and tent driven are growing so fast that you've got, you want to be there and you want to show your inventory to those people and you want to drive that, drive that traffic. Um, so I think that the innovations we see there are going to be really exciting. Do you think that Google has any chance on the long run to compete against this, um, the efficiency of the Amazon logistics? You know, at the end of the day, it comes down to what you want your brand experience to be. So do you own the customer? In which case, you're probably going to lean more heavily towards a Google advertising uh, plan versus, say, Amazon, who owns the customer, where you don't. So if you spend a lot of money or time and effort on your brand experience and you want to keep that and you want to keep that customer, then 
you know, you'll make your choice. We're not on uh, driverless cars yet. Uh, we're not on driverless campaigns at this point. That's you know, sort of the thing where it'd be great if we could all get there. Uh, but I think uh, realistically, uh, there'll always be uh, plenty of opportunity for tools like, like you guys provide and agencies like, you know, we, we, we support our clients uh, to provide, you know, the additional boosts to give a competitive advantage to our clients.